Peace, y'all. So I'm hopping to the Six of Cups. I talked about the Five of Cups in a previous video, I think maybe like last year. And the Five of Cups in this particular deck also relates to the Ten of Swords. So if you missed that or you're wondering where that video is, go ahead and look at my playlist, the African American Tarot playlist, and you should be able to see the Five of Cups there. Or you can also check out Ten of Swords. You can see how both of those um, relate to one another. Because it's a different deck than your original right away deck, right? So, Six of Cups. We have here Yumbo, which is the Night Fairies. And this is based in Senegal. Then in the background, we have Bessie Smith, Chattanooga, Chattanooga, Tennessee, 1898, Memphis, 1937. Rest in peace, Bessie Smith. Wow. So, I, this is so cool, y'all. Yumbo, the night fairies, right? Which are Senegalese little folk. So, Yumbos, and I'm probably saying it wrong, but Yumbos are actually part of the Wolof folklore of Senegal. So, these beings are also called Bakna Rakna, meaning good people. They are described as about two feet in height and of a pearly white color. White skin is often a property of supernatural beings and African beliefs. They also have silver hair. Now, check this out. Look in this card carefully. You see their arms right here extending the cups, extending the six of cups. So we're going to get into that soon. The good people attach themselves to a chosen family and love and care for them. When a member of that family dies, they develop great compassion for the grieving family members and try their best to lament them. I think I'm saying that right. Lament them. It is also traditional that the Yumbos dance upon the grave of the deceased victim. The Yumbos live beneath the Pops Hill, three miles inland from Gory Island, and come out to dance in the moonlight. They feast on large tables, served by partially invisible servants. Only feet and hands are visible. See the hands? Only feet and hands are visible. They invite both natives and foreigners to their feasts. So I'm guessing that's these women here, their natives and or foreigners invited to the Feast of the Yombe. The Wolofs say Yombes live just like people. They have been spotted at night in their fishing boats, hoping to catch a late snack. They bring this fish to the land and search for some fire to roast it. Unlike humans, the Yombos or Yombe do, do not make their own fire, but they steal the burning wood of campfires from human natives but they only take as much as is needed to roast their fish. They are also very fond of corn, which they also steal. Yum, wow, yumbos, I wanna say yumbe, are very fond of plum wine. When the wine turns sour, they drink it with great joy until they become very drunk. In such a drunken state, they sing loudly, make much noise by beating on drums and generally acting wild. So this is a card I would say just right off the bat, besides feasting, right? And um, you can see the joy in the card. You can see the camaraderie in this card, the coming together, the unity, right? But we see celebration, joy of living, pleasant places, enjoyable memories, and positive experiences. So really, really nice to get this as well. Who wouldn't like that? A nice celebration, a nice good time. This could be like a family reunion you know or um even a high school reunion it doesn't even have to be a round reunion it could be a birthday but just some type of gathering getting together um which is abso absolutely beautiful and then maybe check out bessie smith and some of her songs and show her some um some love as well in this card all right peace and love y'all until next time see you in the next reading <laughs>